Fed Chair Powell says that he can engineer a, a soft landing. I'm wondering what you think, how that's changed in the last few weeks or so, now that we have this big energy shock getting worse by the day, and the market treating it largely like a stagflationary kind of risk, higher inflation, slower growth. Is that I think right? it's hard. Yeah, no, it's a fair question. I think it's hard to really consider a stagflationary environment when you're just coming off a, a GDP quarter that was 7 percent when you have unemployment uh, down to 4 percent and when you probably have the tightest job market uh, that I've seen in my many decades doing this work. Um, we have, uh, as the president has stated, uh, great faith in, uh, in uh, Chair Powell, which is why he renominated him to a engineer a soft landing. The president has been wholly supportive of the Fed's pivot. So I think it's, it's very important, even while we have this very concerning inflationary environment with uh, uh, energy prices doing what they're doing, it's, it's really important not to forget the strong economic backdrop and to think about what Americans would be going through if they didn't have uh, ample jobs, low unemployment, and quite strong household balance sheets. But we feel the inflation, Jared, and, and that is the main concern. The president said it's his priority last night. I'm not sure I got a clear, though, message as to how at least the White House plans on fighting it. Sure, the Federal Reserve bears some responsibility in this fight, but he was talking about lowering costs, not wages. Can you explain how that, how that works and what the message absolutely. there was? Absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely. The president has been extremely consistent on this message. The way he teed it up last night, in my view, is exactly right, is that um, uh, our plan is not to hurt the demand side of the economy. It's to boost the supply side. And there are near, medium, and long-term interventions in that space. On the near term, we're doing everything we can to make sure goods get from ship to shelf. Uh, at, a, uh, at a speedy rate. And in fact, throughput through the nation's port was actually 20 percent above its historic level just last year. So we're having some success in that regard. Medium term, the president talked about really important investments. In many cases, uh, uh, we're talking about building uh, things here that uh, have heretofore uh, been uh, non-resilient supply chains existing in other countries. Obviously, semiconductors he talked about last night longer term lowering, lowering costs, again, I thought he was quite uh, uh, clear on this, lowering costs for prescription drugs, for child care, for elder care, for some of the key family budget issues that people face, and particularly today, energy costs. The president talked about uh, the uh, 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 release from the uh, strategic uh, reserve coordinated, of course, through the Energy uh, Administration. Jared, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about the targeting, at least rhetorically, of companies for perhaps uh, putting through price increases that are deemed excessive. Um, I'm not sure exactly if we can come to some standard for when a profit-maximizing comp uh, you know, company is just doing what yeah. you do in capitalism and, and, and how much is seen as, as gouging and whether there'll be anything behind it aside from perhaps shaming certain companies. Another good and fair question. I think where the president was leaning last night is exactly uh, the way to frame this, which is um, that uh, uh, capitalism without competition is exploitation. What he means by that is that when you have just a few firms dominating an industry, uh, you're going to see higher price levels than would otherwise be the case. I mean, this may be Econ 101, uh, but I think it persists in today's economy quite clearly. So if, uh, for example, he talked about uh, shipping and the fact that, uh, you know, some of those prices have doubled uh, or more in recent years, uh, profits are extremely high, and uh, we, we need to see more competition, more entry into uh, that sphere. Uh, he talked about meatpacking. Uh, I've looked at uh, lumber in this context as well. It's not so much a matter of a cabal of producers sitting around and gouging prices. It's a matter of barriers to entry, preventing competition that would put pressure, downward pressure on prices right now to the benefit of American consumers.